Hey guys, so today is going to be the Toronto Yoga Show. It is a Sunday, I am so excited to go. And I brought my yoga mat with me, I brought a little bit of food, and I also brought my purse for all my other necessities. And I also brought my friend who's holding my camera instead of my tripod. So I'm so excited to go. I'm so excited to meet other yogis in the city. Um, because I like to connect with other fitness gurus around the city and hopefully make some friends and then maybe we can even like hang out and do like a yoga session together. So I got this, I'm wearing something new for my workout clothes. I've never worn this before. This is my first day ever wearing it and I got it I think at an Adidas warehouse sale. I love it so much. That's what it looks like. And I especially like the front because I find it especially flattering. Mm. And I like the double straps here. Like, they're so sexy. I love it. And I can show like my arm muscles. And the bus is coming, so let's go.
dates. I had some high carby oatmeal stuff, but that's okay. I mean, it's just like one day, right? So I'm really trying not to feel too guilty about it right now. If there's one thing about me is that I tend to be like a perfectionist and like I want to make everything perfect, but I know that, you know, life happens sometimes and I'm just gonna live life. And I mean, there's always tomorrow, there's always Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, like how often do I get to go out and experience an event like this, right? Like, not very often. So, you know, it's not a big deal. I'm not gonna kill myself over it. It's what you do consistently over what you do once in a while, right? So, let's name some positives. And I'm kind of doing this for me as, uh, just as I am doing it to reassure you guys. So, positives. I can treat today like a refeed day. Um, I tried products that I would never really buy because they're too overpriced. And I'm having a pretty good time despite feeling this like anxiety, the need to like always be on top of the ball in terms of diet and exercise and everything else in my life in terms of like schedule and everything like that. So I'm trying to accept the imperfections. Um, I mean, it should be fun, right? I mean, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna splurge and treat myself like this, like I shouldn't be nervous. I should at least like enjoy it. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this event as much as possible with my friend here. I'll see you guys later. magnificence and its intricate complexity and may you feel grateful for the capacity to know that fascination is a vital life force energy that allows for continuous exploration and discovery may you know liberation may you liberate yourself from suffering and find joy may you liberate yourself from darkness and no light may you liberate your body 
and find health and movement. May you liberate your thoughts and find dreams. May you liberate your soul and find your destiny. May you liberate yourself and live the authentic life that is meant for you. May you liberate your voice and speak your beautiful truth. Why are you crying? So the yoga show is now over. I am headed home. I just want to show you some of the things that I got. Is the lighting in here okay? I got some incense, right? You can see right there. And I've never burned incense on my own before. This one is 10, 20 incense pouches, 10 sticks each. So I guess there's like, uh, I don't know, like 10 in here. And it's called Real Champa. Um, it says, incense is made of the finest quality of ingredients. The fragrance of Champa is sweet and refreshing and, a, and uh specifically suited to create a mood of peace and devotion. So I have never burned incense before. If you have any experience with incense, please leave a description or a comment in the comment section below and let me know what I should do with incense and what I should like store them in because I literally like have no idea. I love, you know, the idea of meditation and everything like that, but I just don't know like what to do. Is yogi tea? So as you can see here, this says green tea decaffeinated kombucha and I'm so excited to try this because I've never tried yogi tea before. Um, this is probably worth about four or five dollars in a health food store, Canadian dollars. And I've never tried kombucha. I rarely, I don't want to say rarely drink green tea, but I try to avoid caffeine when I can. So that's why when I saw this decaffeinated version, I was like, yes, I need this. And all I had to do was sign up my email for their newsletter. And I was like, uh, yes, I'm going to sign up for your newsletter. Hell, I'll sign up all of my, all of my email addresses so I can get more of this. So, um, I got, I got this one and I'm so excited to try it. In addition, I also got some more of their other samples like the Egyptian licorice. Apparently licorice is supposed to be detoxifying or somewhat good for the um, uh, woman hormones, I think. I got lemon ginger, a sample of magnesium. Um, I'll probably try this sometime before bed. This one is sweetened with stevia. I got a tiny little packet of stevia. Stevia is really great. It's my sweetener of choice most of the time because it is all natural and it doesn't raise the blood sugar and there's zero calories. Some organic soap that I'm very excited to try. This one smells like lemongrass. I got a sample of Pure Leaf Black uh, Tea Vanilla. And apparently Pure Leaf is a really good tea brand so I'm super excited to try that. I bought coconut vinegar. So this was $3 and I'm actually sad that I maybe should have bought a second one because I like this more than I like apple cider vinegar. I put it in soups, I put it in salads, I can top it with just anything really. I'll, I'll, I'll top this shit with anything. It's like sh sriracha, like what can't you put it on? It's super duper detoxifying and it's good for the blood pH as well. And this is a vegan, I believe, uh, a cleansing wipe. Now for my favorite part, I also got essential oils and I am a huge essential oils fan. Um, when I saw these, when I saw that they were selling these, I was like, I need to get some. I need to get some even though I have like 20 million at home right now. Um, recently I've just used up my grapefruit and when I went there to buy grapefruit, they were sold out. So I had to go with, the, with this one. So this one is orange. And this one is a tester version. The original price was $10, but I was able to buy this for about $5 because this is a tester. I love citrus scents. I love lemon, lime, uh, grapefruit, orange, anything like that because it brings me so much joy and it wakes me up just a little bit. And it's been proven that citrus um, smells and citrus taste can uh, help with uh, weight maintenance. So this is, this is a great one. I can't wait to use this one. 
I also got Cheer Up Buttercup, and this one is a blend of lemon, bergamot, um, lemon, bergamot, lime, and orange citrus oils. And it's supposed to cheer you up because, like I said again, um, citrus flavors are supposed to make you a little more joyful. Um, this is my favorite, actually. One of my favorites is lavender. Lavender is super duper fantastic for um, relieving anxiety, for um, relaxing. I'll add a few drops of this on my pillow as I'm falling asleep for some sweet dreams. And last, but not least, I got lemon because how can you not buy lemon? I love it. This one was five dollars. So besides that, that was basically all the swag that I got at the yoga show. And next week they're going to have another show and I can't wait to go to that one as well and get some swag and see what they have there. It's going to be all natural, organic, um, perhaps paraben free. Um, a lot of them are going to be soaps. A lot of them are going to be fragrances. A lot of them are also going to be food. Today I actually wore my new tank. I got it from an, an outlet from Adidas, I believe like two years ago. And I never took it out and wore it because I just, <laughs> I just couldn't bear wearing something new. I just, it just felt too precious. But I really love how there's these like crisscross straps. I think it's really sultry. And at the back, it's also crisscross. So I'm really loving this. I'm really loving this. Do you guys like to wear new workout clothes to the gym? And if you do, do you work harder? Let me know in the comments below. Bye, my fitties. Mwah.